the subcutaneous route is administered under the cutis or below the dermis and epidermis. It's often used for insulin injections because only a small amount of medication is supposed to be injected between the muscle and skin. Intermuscular injections you may be familiar with as the route used often for steroids, antipsychotics, and some vaccines. You would use a large needle to inject all the way into the muscle, past the cutis. You would want to inject a largely muscular area, like the buttocks, thigh, or deltoids. Now, whenever you see a TV show of someone at a hospital, nine times out of ten, what is the first thing you see? An intravenous or IV therapy, most of the time in the forearm. It's a hollow needle infusing liquid into the veins. It is the better option for unconscious or inept patients. But we'll have more how-tos on that in a separate video. Wait, don't go just yet. If you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website to access more great, easy to follow videos. Don't worry, Nursing Study Buddy will be posting free videos for our YouTube subscribers and a wide variety of snippets from our video library at nursingstudybuddy.com. Nursing Study Buddy was designed for those nursing students and current nursing students who are struggling with their educational experience. So if you're a pro, whiz, Einstein, or even Stephen Hawking's nephew and have no trouble studying and acing your tests and quizzes, nursingstudybuddy.com is not for you. With new videos being added every week, what are you waiting for? Visit nursingstudybuddy.com and sign up for a one day free trial and put some free time back in your life by cutting down your study time while improving your test scores. We'll see you there.